After installing the window, it is time to install the slopes and the window sill. You can familiarize yourself with the option of manufacturing a window sill from metal profiles and drywall by watching my other video, the link to which you will find below in the description, but now we will talk about window slopes, namely, we will consider the installation of window slopes from drywall. Installation of plasterboard slopes clearly involves the subsequent surface finishing with a top coat. The subsequent facing of the slopes and the window sill with porcelain stoneware will be covered in my other video. Installation of slopes from gypsum plasterboard is carried out with an overlap of a sheet of drywall directly behind the window frame, this must be taken into account when ordering and installing new windows. In a situation with a missing gap between the window frame and the wall, as an option, use aluminum corners fixed directly to the frame, the corners act as guides and allow you to hook drywall to them. Manufacturing of window slopes. Structural elements are cut from the gypsum board sheet. The side parts are equal to the height of the window from the sill to the top of the frame. If desired and technically feasible, the slopes can be installed by slightly deploying them to the sides of the window, as if increasing the opening. The same applies to the upper part, which can also be angled relative to the window frame. There are no clear rules here, much depends on taste and technical capabilities. The upper, horizontal part of the slope is made wider than the window frame by 3 to 4 centimeters, with these protrusions the upper slope will rest on the side vertical slopes. It should be borne in mind that it is not advisable to press the drywall close to the wall opening, since the existing gap is subsequently filled with foam, which has insulating properties and protects the window from freezing from the inside from the side of the walls. If the wall with the window will be plastered, this must be taken into account when making the slopes, it may be better to make the slopes protrude slightly into the room, and after plastering the wall, the excess can always be cut off. After trying on the parts from the gypsum board in their places, I mark them on them and drill holes for attaching them to the wall. Using the finished holes in the gypsum board, I mark the holes for the dowels on the wall. After that, I drill holes in the concrete and install dowels in them. Next. I install the upper slope, securing it to the screws. In order for the drywall to reliably hold the weight of the porcelain stoneware finish, I put wide washers under the caps of the screws. Then I install the side slopes, set the screws in one line, and take into account that there is a small distance between the drywall and the wall opening for the mounting foam. I check the slopes by level. I check if the gypsum board adjoins the entire perimeter of the window frame, if necessary, insert small wedges, pressing the drywall to the window. I check the angle at which the slopes stand relative to the window. Many professional installers carry out the installation of slopes without attaching them to the wall at all on self-tapping screws, fixing them only with the help of mounting foam. Here, as they say, there is no comrade in taste and color, but since in my version the slopes will be faced with heavy porcelain stoneware, I think self-tapping screws are not superfluous. Next, I fill the space between the GKL sheets and the wall with polyurethane foam. For installation, I use only polyurethane foam with a low expansion coefficient, since polyurethane foam with a high secondary expansion is capable of deforming the gypsum board and then the slopes will go in a wave, which of course can be corrected in the future with plaster, but it is better not to bring it up to that. Fill the hole with polyurethane foam, preferably in several steps. First the space in the depth is filled, closer to the window frame, after which the rest of the space is already filled with foam. For beginners and those who are afraid that polyurethane foam can squeeze out drywall, and believe me, it often happens, I can advise the installation of a supporting temporary trim made of wooden bars around the entire perimeter of the window. After drying, the foam is trimmed and the final alignment is performed at the junction of the drywall and the wall. In some cases, I use a mesh corner protection profile. When making window slopes, I do not forget about the space located below the window sill, if necessary, I level the corners with the help of gypsum board, protect them with an angular profile and plaster. Window slopes are ready for further finishing. That's all, I wish you all good luck, until we meet again.